Now to your health. This week, health experts are trying to bring awareness to World Tuberculosis Day. So every year, Houston Health Department employees deliver more than 25,000 doses of antibiotics to people with TB. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with this warning about this incredibly contagious illness. I know. So there are actually 150 cases of TB in Houston every year. And according to our health department, that is fortunately a very low number, even though many people falsely think that TB has been eradicated. It never left, according to Dr. David Peirce. Consumption, the white plague, those historical references to tuberculosis make the disease sound like a thing of the past, even though every year 150 Houstonians battle this deadly disease. Our public health system has done a pretty good job of, of you know, keeping tuberculosis uh, at a low level. We've not been able to eradicate it, but we've kept it at a low level. And one of the reasons we've been able to do that is that when we put people on to the antibiotic therapy, we go out of their house and we watch them take the medicines throughout the entire course. And he says the infection is tenacious. It runs from antibiotics and morphs into versions of the disease that make it hard to kill, which is why many people will need antibiotics for a long time under observation. But tuberculosis is one of those really sneaky uh, diseases. And very often you start off with a cough. Now, tuberculosis can infect any organ system, your eyes, your brain, your hearts. Usually it infects your lungs and you start coughing and it's just a nagging cough. It's not a particularly bad cough, but it's a nagging cough and it doesn't go away. Eventually the infection in your lung will get to be so bad that you'll start coughing up blood. And that's when people will go to their doctors and say, hey, I'm a little worried, I'm coughing up blood. Problem is by that point, you've been spreading the disease for weeks or months before. Wow. And generally it's to your family members and the people closest to you. And like many diseases, this <clears throat> impacts older and younger adults and a healthy adult may even have the disease and transmit it without realizing that they have it. So doctors recommend that you obviously get an exam if you're not feeling well, because Dr. Purse says that if you are not very symptomatic, the treatment is much quicker and much easier than if you progress to having a lot of yeah. symptoms and oh feeling goodness. really bad. Yeah, you don't want to wait too long. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is a good warning. I didn't even think of this. Thought no, this long gone. No, and I had no idea like how long the treatment is and that the health department has to come and watch you take it because it's that serious that the antibiotics will make you feel good. You'll stop taking them and then it would keep spreading. So they have to make sure that you finish your dose of antibiotics. I, I had no idea. Get rid of it. All right, Haley, thank you. Thanks, guys.